Uh, my name is Jenny Allen and I'm a certified life coach and I'm also a domestic violence awareness advocate and I'm an author and a motivational speaker. I've had a lot of really good testimonials about my eight day challenge that's currently live on my Periscope profile. So please make sure you check that out. Okay, click sign up and uh, get all the information about the challenge there. When was the last time you invested in yourself? When did you actually take up some money and invest in who you are? Good. Because some people that I know, they haven't done it for months. They haven't even picked up the, a book on self-development. They haven't listened to a video. They haven't brought a course. They haven't done anything to invest in who they are. And investing in yourself is a key thing. Sometimes. Because sometimes as women, I was just sharing, I've just come off a live interview on Facebook that I did with somebody. And as women, we tend to always focus in and making sure that our family's okay, that our children are okay, that when we go to work, we give out there, that's fine. We give out to everybody else and we neglect what we actually have inside of us. We don't make the same effort that we give to invest in other people. We don't put that same effort back into ourselves. And that is a that is a, a neglect that we need to really rectify and look at. Social media is full of so many different things where you can invest in yourself as a woman. But for some reason, we don't step up to the plate with our own self-investment. And it is time to step up to the plate and invest. Okay, we can invest... Uh, like, for example, I've got a course there that I've launched. The course is $47 and there are things in that course that can help to make you a better person. It can and uncover some of the really good gifts that you have. But some people, they will take that same $47 and they will go to the shop and eat $47 worth of food or they will go and buy a pair of shoes for $47. They will even spend more money than that but they're not taking the time to develop their character and what they have inside of them. And that type of focus has to shift because when you develop inside of you, you are better able to handle the world that you live in and you're better able to contribute to society. Developing who you are, whom God made you to be on the inside you have to develop that and you have to recognize that you are created to be somebody who can share your God-given gift. Okay, we all have a gift and it is important for us to share it and be a blessing to other people. Okay, so let me just share with you five reasons why you need to invest in yourself. The first thing is, is that it's the best return on investment that you can make for yourself. It is the best return of investment. You learn a new skill, okay? You learn a new skill. You develop your personality. You tap into your creativity. All of us have a gift of some sort. A singer, all these famous singers that we see, Beyonce, um, you know, all these famous singers that we have, in the world now their gift is not for them they go they spend money they invest money in developing their singing talent so that when they have a concert or they're on tv or they go out they can share the best of their gift with their audience but they will spend hundreds and thousands of dollars or pounds like we have here in in, in england they will spend a lot of money to develop their gift, their creativity, so they can share it with their audience or with their world. And that is something, if they feel the need to do that and they have a wonderful gift, we also need to take that as an example and share and invest in ourselves. We need to do that. So invest in yourself because it is the best return uh, on investment 
in yourself that you could ever make. Read a book, learn how to do something fresh, develop your inner person. We must unbury them because a lot of these gifts lay hidden. And somebody that I, who did my free online challenge, uh, she spoke with me today and she said that when she, one of the day's challenges is to list 10 things about yourself. And when she saw that question, she said that she stood back because she had never thought that there was any, that she could think of 10 good things about who she was. She said she had to stand back and she said that she actually had a aha moment about that question. And uh, so she actually, that was the first time in her life that she'd actually sat down and thought of and considered 10 good things about herself. She said that she actually like, had an epiphany about uh, about herself and that particular question. So, okay, so this, the first thing is investing in yourself is the best return of the investment that you can make. Number two, you give to yourself first so you can give to others. Sometimes as women, we think it's selfish that we sow into ourselves, we give to ourselves first because we're thinking about home, family, children, work. We're thinking about all of this. But how many of you know that when you give to yourself first, it makes you better able to give to those around you, to give into your community. It makes you a better mother when you invest in yourself first. It makes you a better wife. It makes you a better employee. It makes you a better business owner because you have taken time to recuperate. Every Saturday uh, morning, I'm off to the health suite. Uh, in my gym, there's a health suite where you have a sauna, jacuzzi, steam, all that pamper pamper. I do it every Saturday morning. If I miss one Saturday, it's every other Saturday morning I do it. And once every three months, I go off to a health spa for a weekend. Because for me, that is great downtime, great pampering, great relaxation. Or when I come back, I come back bet a better person because I've taken time to invest. So investing in yourself should not make you feel guilty. It makes you better able to serve those around you. Number three is uh, the reason why you should invest in yourself is that you have a responsibility to, to take care of yourself and to develop your gifts. We all have God-given gifts and our gifts is not for us. Our gifts are always for other people. We, God created us to share what we have. As I said before, a singer's gift is not for her. It's to bless the world that, that she lives in. A writer's gift is not for them. Their writing gift is not for them. Their writing gift is to bless other people. People who write books, who've become bestsellers, their writing gift is not for them. It is to give out to the world. So we take in and we give out. It's like breathing. We take in and we give out and we need to share. You have a responsibility to take care of yourself and to develop your gifts. Number four, when you take time to invest in yourself, it is an example of self-love. It is an example of self-care because the Bible says, I mean, I'm aware that maybe people listening to my broadcast, not everybody is a Christian, but I'm a Christian. And my default for some of these things is the Bible. And the Bible says um, that you have to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So start loving yourself. It's an example of self-love to invest in who you are. Because when you invest in who you are, it makes you a better person. Okay. And the fifth thing, number five, it sends a powerful message to yourself and to others. This is the powerful message that you send to yourself. The value and potential that I possess is important for me to invest in. You have value, you have potential. And it's important for you to invest in that potential and that value so that you can share it with others. Your smile 
is something that somebody needs, okay? Your encouragement is something that somebody needs. Your good morning to somebody in the office or somebody on the street is something that somebody needs. The way how you interact with people is something that somebody needs for that day. Your act of kindness out of your own self-love is something that somebody needs. So when you sow those things, Bible says that you shall reap what you sow. So when you sow these things, you will get a harvest back to you. There is a lot of pleasure in giving to people. But first of all, when you give to people, make sure that you're giving to them from the overflow of your own reservoir. Don't give. Giving from an empty cup, it, it's not helpful for you because you're, you're dry and your, your own cup is empty. Make sure you fill yourself up with looking after yourself, taking down time, re restoring who you are before you give out to people. And then from your own overflow, you can help somebody else. Okay, so they are the five things. The first thing to invest in yourself is the best return on investment. Number two, give to yourself first so you can give to others. Number three, have a responsibility to take care of yourself and develop your gifts. Number four, it's an example of self-love. And number five, it sends a powerful message to yourself and others that your value and potential are important. So thank you for joining me. And if I develop that gift, unbury your gifts. Your gifts are buried. Low self-esteem, confidence, bitterness, all these things bury who you are. Unbury your gift. And there's a scripture in the in the book of Matthew that says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. When you have self-care and you look after you, you become a light to somebody else who's in darkness and they need to see somebody with light. They need to see somebody with purpose. They need to see somebody who has taken the time to invest in themselves. OK, now you see me live streaming here. I used to stutter, which I, I always tell people I used to stutter and I decided I'm going to go on live stream and I am going to break this thing and I'm going to throw myself in at the deep end and live stream. I was a stutterer. But I was determined because I knew that I had something on the inside of me that I needed to share. I was determined to break the power of that thing over me. And here I am live streaming today and doing so many different void things using the gift of my voice. Yes. Step outside the boat and start investing in you. That $47 or $50, whatever you were going to invest in doing something, start investing in you because you're important, you matter, and you have value. Okay? So, so ladies, it's time to uncover your gift. It's time to uncover what has laid buried and dormant in you. It's time to get you shined up and polished so that you can be a blessing to the, those around you and to the world. It's time to stop hiding your gift and your creativity and putting it on the back burner. It's time now to shake a leg and get loose. Okay, so, but it's now to take time to invest in who you are. It is time, no more excuses because somebody is waiting on your gift. Okay, so bless you. Thank you all for joining me. Those okay. So thank you and I'll catch you later. Bye. See you. Bye-bye.